This is Matt Russell, and welcome to the Daily Effects Forum. So here are the four pairs that I will be discussing this evening, the Euro Pound, the Aussie Kiwi, the Pound Swiss, and the Euro Swiss, as well as the Euro Aussie. So let's go ahead and pull up the charts. The first chart is the Euro Pound. If you recall, during the past several reports, I've been mentioning this tentative resistance line on the pair. Uh, I don't like the penetration up here, but with that being said, it has held uh, at least as temporary resistance. Uh, no trade setups, however, as price has never actually returned fully to the line. So right now, prices are in between uh, this range. I've also added this simple support line on the downside here uh, and with prices about a hundred pips or so away from, from that area right now um, I, again I, there, there would be no imminent trade setups at this moment but we would wait for prices to come up to, to resistance or, or down to support respectively where we would enter a short trade obviously at resistance or a long trade at support uh, the one thing I'm looking at over the next 24 hours or so is prices coming down uh, to that support line and you might also get support from the left left side over here which could be an inverted head and shoulder pattern uh, so I would expect at least a temporary bounce if prices do come down to that price level but again th this line is upward sloping so this would only be relevant for the next 24 hours or so and again it's about a hundred pips away um, so it is a bit of bit of a long shot at this moment next chart is the Aussie Kiwi and if you recall uh, during the last report I mentioned short uh, this off this doji candle here uh, I mentioned that the trade was to enter at 2805 with a stop about 28 55 and prices never actually got up to 2805 they got close within I believe within about 10 pips or so personally I did not enter but you might have entered at home uh, I, I I would still use that trade idea right now uh, I would wait for prices to come up just above that 128 figure about again short at 128.05 with a stop at 128.55 off this doji here and what we might have also is a is a head and shoulder pattern here at least you know a short term head and shoulder on the daily chart which is about the 28.16 area uh, so that's also a price level I would be looking at and I would get a little less bearish if prices were to able if prices were able to exceed that 28.17 area the next chart is the pound Swiss and not much has changed here again this is just the inverse of the euro pound and th the simple support line has been acting as support prices did not come down fully to this line during this candle they were about 20 or 30 pips away so there's no entry there and moving forward now I really don't see any favorable risk reward entries now and again I just keep this line up and focus your efforts on the euro pound the next chart is the euro Swiss and again I'm on the lines on this pair but I have been mentioning over the past several reports uh, tentative resistance near the 5130 area we could see during yesterday's session prices came up to about 5125 so maybe you were at home were, were able to enter again I'm on the sidelines because of the, the central bank potential intervention and things like that things that I just have no control over so I'm not going to trade I can't manage my risk uh, but for more aggressive traders I still like this trade now uh, again the upside is capped at 5131 and I would place a stop about 5150 um, so right now with prices at about 5115 if you did not enter on this candle here I might look for another 10 pips or so on the upside maybe enter about 5125 with a stop at about 5150 and that would be my setup for this pair the next chart is the euro Aussie and if you recall during the past several reports I've been mentioning that I believe prices are going to come down to just beneath that 161 figure about 160.73 um, for this inverted head and shoulder pattern where we might find support uh, that is what is happening but I again I can't find any favorable risk reward entries to manage my risk properly I did add this longer term resistance line uh, to the pair as well I don't like this line there's a little bit too much separation between these points but with that being said if prices do rally a little bit I might look to enter a, a short trade here if prices do come up and brush up against this line with maybe about a 50 to 75 pip stop um, on the upside uh, but again the trade here is the long trade if prices do come down and break just beneath that 161 figure and that's about a hundred to 125 pips away uh, from this moment so this could certainly materialize over the next 24 to 48 hours and I, again I expect at least a temporary bounce off that area and we look to enter I'd say call it about 60 90 with a stop at about 60 40. Again, that would be a long trade at 6090 with a stop at 6040. Again, my name is Matt Russell. Thanks for listening and please stay tuned for a preview of I the Daily FX opportunity forums. to formally welcome you all to the Daily FX forums. I want to go through the process of how I personally access the forums and how maybe you at home, if you want to access the forums in the future, might do so. The first thing you would do 
is go to www.dailyfx.com and that will bring up obviously dailyfx.com and usually there on the upper right hand corner I'll go ahead and click on where it says forum and that will bring up the first page of the forums and this this view I personally don't use this view but this view actually shows you uh, the most recent posts on all the threads within the different sections and a little detail about those posts so uh, you can read through and see if there's something you know catches your interest uh, but personally I go ahead and just click on forums and and view them in the more traditional sense now these are different threads within the forum there's a section on education such as daily FX course instructor tips which would be good for newer traders and then for more advanced traders and I just want to go ahead you know personally the way I use the forums is I would go through the individual threads uh, just looking for trade ideas maybe looking at charts looking at certain lines that maybe I didn't put up on my chart but but another trader might have put up on their chart uh, I, I I tend to, you know, shy away from using direct trade recommendations from other forum members, but it, it helps me to um, sort of even out my analysis, make sure that I'm that I'm seeing things, uh, you know, with a with the right mind in terms of, you know, I might be missing stuff that other traders can see, and that that's, you know, my personal way of using the forum. You know, every trader is going to be a little bit different in how they use it. So, if you want to ask questions, if you want to become an active participant of the members, you you would have to go ahead and register so that's what I'm going to go through now is the registration process so assuming you're brand new to the forums or maybe you've been here a few times and you're not really sure how it works so I just want to walk through again uh, the registration process uh, this would be the front page uh, where, where you would access or the previous page you'd have the same little box here on the left hand side obviously my username and password are already filled out here but assuming you're a new member you would click on where it says register and that will bring up the registration page if you give me one moment here while my browser loads and actually first uh, we're gonna have uh, some terms of service uh, and daily effects form rules I do suggest reading through the the form rules um, obviously you know profanity and spam and things like that are not allowed uh, but it also gives you insight on you know how to act, how to use the forum and how different traders can use it uh, you know in terms of their individual needs so you would go down to the bottom there you'd click on where it says I have read all the rules and then you would go ahead to the register uh, the, the formal registration page and that will bring up here and you can go ahead and select the username and how about we'll use 4x and that name is already in use uh, so maybe add a few more X's there um, again it really you know your individual username is up to you and you go ahead and fill in your password your email address now the most difficult aspect of registration for the daily FX forums will be figuring figuring out these letters uh, in the box here now I'm a semi intelligent person uh, but I have a very difficult time figuring out which letters and numbers to use now there is there is a reason uh, for this madness uh, it helps with security uh, but I would suggest just going going ahead and keep on clicking that refresh image until something comes through that you can actually identify and see uh, then you can go ahead and enter your birthday but you can decide whether or not uh, to to display that to other forum members and then also if you were referred by somebody you can enter that information there the time zone that should default to your computer but you should you know double check and make sure and then you can opt in uh, and I would get, you know suggest opting in for these emails in terms if the administrators want to go ahead and send you some notices about the form and then you would complete registration uh, now what happens is they would send you an email uh, to the email address that you put up here and that email will include a link and all you would have to do is go ahead and click on that link and that link will bring you inside the forum and you would now be a member of the daily effects forums again this is Matt Russell thanks for listening